welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lorianne, Intuitive Guidance Counselor, Psychic Medium here to give you the messages for this week. And this is all about love. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries and your Venus sign as well. So while I'm meditating before I come on camera, I, I always call in guides because we're, we're speaking to specific groups of people, right? And the vision that I saw, it was really cute, is Aries. It's like, I'm asking, show me what Aries needs to know this week. And I see like the Knight of Wands where you're like, ooh, on a horse. <laughs> like playful is the message that was coming through. So playing like a horse, like getting out there and just having a really good time. I feel a lot of you right now are feeling this uplifted kind of want to get out there and do that. If you're not already doing it, you're going to feel it definitely by Friday, by the weekend, you're going to do this. Okay, so it's a really wonderful feeling. I'm going to pull a card that matches that for those of you where you're feeling that energy, and then I'll pull the main messages as well. Worry. Okay. So this is going to be a multiple message, I can already tell, because the other half of the reading, when I pull the cards, it's going to coordinate with this as well. I am learning that worry does not change the outcome. If you're afraid to get back out there, you're afraid to get on your horse and take action in your love life, don't worry, okay? It, it, it's like a bike, okay? You forget, but once you get on it, you, you ride it once, and then, oh, by the time you get down the end of the street, you got your balance back. It's that quick to get back into the regime. And I was out of it for a very long time at one point in time, which I talk about that in my book, okay? So when we're looking at worry, it puts us into a very low vibration. And that low vibration may actually get you from this high horse, I'm going to get out there and go kind of energy to, yeah, I think I'll wait. Maybe next weekend I'm going to curl under a blanket. And we don't want you to go into that low vibration. We want you to step out and be you. Because the vision they're showing me is the Knight of Wands. That's you, Aries, and that's you out there going from one event to another, meeting a new person here and a new one there, talking to people along the way, along your path. So I like that. Now let's see what the overall messages are, and I'll pull a Romance Angel card at the end of the reading. It's actually quite fun. It's like, it's very playful energy for those of you where that resonates. Like I said, either you're feeling this way or you're going to by the end of the, by the weekend. Okay, so for you, we are starting out with the High Priestess. And this is all about you really tapping into your intuition, using that beautiful Aries. You, you're, you're like Aquarians, you know, you, you really tapped into your psychic abilities, okay? I have an Aries rising. I have a Pisces moon. So I have a, th a combination of three of the higher ones, right? Some of you may as well. I just feel that intuitively you know it's time to get out there. You know it is time to open up. You've been blocking yourself from love, okay? The Four of Pentacles, this is being blocked. This is saying, yeah, I'm not getting back out there. I'm going to wait another weekend, just like I said. We don't want you to do that. The third card that pops out is the world starting a new chapter. Doing it different this time. This time, you're going to do it using your intuition. You're going to follow your gut. You're going to understand and use the knowledge and wisdom you have within you. So you know exactly how to build the love life that you want, whether it's with a partner or somebody new. Now, the blockage is what you've been working on, and this is you overcoming it. This is you stepping into the new. So... I, like I said, I th this is lovely energy. It really is. Now, I do feel that some of you, and don't worry, you've learned your lesson. You have. Or these are major arcanas right here. So when we're looking at the tarot, 
These are events, circumstances that are brought on based on your chart. They're brought on by the divine. The, the universe comes in, God and the angels come in and they help you in these areas to be successful, to successfully resonate that you need to follow your gut, right? To know exactly what door to open to start this new chapter. And it's all about you taking action, opening up. The Four of Pentacles, I'm not opening up until somebody gives to me, then I'll give, right? Open and receive. You gotta open to receive. You got the Four of Cups. The Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So, some of you may have been dealing with somebody that you know on an intuitive level. They really liked you, but maybe they didn't express it. Maybe they didn't share. It could possibly very well be a soul connection, but it's definitely somebody that I, I, I see you had feelings for. With the Seven of Swords here, underneath the Four of Pentacles, there's this blockage, right? Out of fear. Them not being able to open up and share, they couldn't, they just kind of sat there. I think you met somebody you liked and they didn't ask you out, they didn't open up. This could have even been a current partner, right? You guys living under the same roof where they're not even opening up. They're not sharing their feelings, they're not, they're just stuck in a pool in a puddle of fear. Yeah. Now, for those of you, you are meeting somebody new, okay? There is a group of you where you're gonna meet somebody new. And again, it's the same storyline, okay? So for those of you where you're meeting somebody new, this fear of what has taken place, much like in the beginning of the reading before, you know, when I was talking on your how, it's the same scenario where you've learned your lesson. So don't worry. You're going to be meeting somebody that is willing to work on a relationship. Somebody that you can, you, be your own independent, beautiful, empowered self they will be their own independent, beautiful self and create a beautiful relationship. This is somebody willing to put the work, the energy and the effort in to create something solid and start a brand new chapter. For some of you, this is your partner. They are going to, uh, something's going to come down through a dream state through, I feel for most of them, it's just going to be like out of the blue where they may walk in out of the blue and swoop you up and just dance with you. No music on, just humming in your ear and just dance with you. You'll know at that moment. Some of you, that is going to happen. I see it. And if that does, oh gosh, please leave that comment down there, right? Yeah, you're getting ready to meet somebody that you can actually have a lovely relationship with. Now, the biggest thing that I'm feeling for all of you, no matter whether you're in a current relationship or meeting somebody new, there is this beautiful, new, empowered you. Like I said, getting on the horse and taking action. That's the empowered you. That's the you where you may be with a partner who has been focused on their work and you initiating a romantic rendezvous, a, a, a passionate sexual rendezvous. I love the energy coming through here because they're saying to me, for you Aries, do not worry you've learned your lesson, you're going to start an amazing new chapter. And if you don't know how, manifest, okay, my manifesting workshop, perfect timing for those of you where this is applicable, ascendingsoulsjourney.com. And readings are open too. <laughs> you've put so much energy and effort into you, into really opening yourself up to be vulnerable. This is the opportunity. This is the right time for you. You're going to feel it. A lot of you, I feel it's going to be more uh, rolling the last week of January, rolling into early February. 
but you're still gonna feel the lift, the vibration in the month of January itself. That was, oh. Okay, I'm gonna pull a romance angel card, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. Let the worrying go because you are ready. You are ready to get on that horse and move forward and start this new chapter in your life. And it's amazing. It is going to be incredibly wonderful. So, like I said, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Whoever you're getting ready to meet that's new, you're going to feel this connection. Like I said, it's this team energy uh, between the two of you. A, a unity, a unity, like in that, right? We are looking at the sign. I, I'm seeing Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have every element on the board and we have almost all of the signs to coordinate with it. But this is all about chemistry. You initiating this, jumping on the horse and taking advantage of the chemistry you're going to feel with your partner or with this new person. So have an amazing week. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like me. Much love.